Okay, hi guys. This video, I'm going to show you how to glaze a vase. Okay, so usually when we start glazing a vase, again, make sure to take the precaution. If your piece is really old, I mean not really old, if you stay on the shelf too long, there's too much dust, make sure you blow them off. Now, use a, um, use a rinse the um, your pot or put it under the, um, put under the, um, uh, compressor and blow them off a little bit okay so um, now I got this texture right here so I'm gonna see the glaze apart now you notice that I'm touching the clay so usually student uh, student will say okay how should I glaze the pot you know when you glaze something like close form like this or maybe um, uh, a vase I suggest you glaze inside first the reason you glazing it inside is because you get to touch inside outside without touching your glaze off if you glaze outside first and then you try to touch it then that's gonna have a little problem right there you're gonna chip off some of the glaze and I'm looking at this pot right now I'm making an aesthetic decisions you can see I have some texture right in here and then hmm I'm not sure what glaze this might be a dark brown so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this black without glaze and I'm gonna glaze inside with one glaze and glaze outside, okay? So to do that, I'm gonna wax it. So using a bending wheel, Lazy Susan, you actually can see this, that's awesome. I'm gonna take this right here, okay? And then I'm gonna take a big brush, and no, I don't need a big brush, small brush, it look good. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna brush it right here. Again, I'll allow the glaze uh, wax to dry out just a little bit. Again, the reason I directly put the wax on the bare clay body because in my head, I want to make sure my my clay body is contrast with my glaze. So is it okay to not glaze everything? Absolutely, absolutely. So that's how I like to do it. I like to make sure I don't you know, sometimes if you don't have to glaze everything, and I don't glaze everything. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna let them dry a little bit. Uh, while I'm letting them dry, I'm gonna grab one of those things to give you an example, a very good example of this. I think this is the same K body. This is Laguna Dark Brown, can you see? Okay, right here. So I can contract with the white and the dark right in here, so you can see right here. But I glaze the whole thing, but I wipe it off. The reason I wipe it off is that I want to make sure my glaze stay inside the crevices, okay? So apparently, this is my name. This is my daughter's name, Angie, and this is my name, say, Jen Chi, in Mayan. I learned it from Malin, our awesome art historian and adventurer college. So look at that, isn't that cool, okay? So again, do you always have to glaze everything? No, because I like that contrast thing right in there. All right, so I'm um, keep jabbling. I'm waiting for the color to dry, I mean the wax to dry. So now I'm gonna glaze inside, pretend they are dry. Okay, they're not quite dry. I wish they would dry a little bit more, but hey, what the heck, we will be fine. So I already stored my glaze already. Oh my gosh, this glaze settles so quickly. So when you have a glaze settle so quickly, make sure that you put some uh, sodium silicate allow the glaze kind of suspended a little bit okay or not you talk to the lab tech okay so make sure to talk to me if you notice okay but if you just stir it up just a little bit like this actually it would just fine okay right now it's actually not too bad okay so I'm gonna stir it up just very really quickly so right now I'm gonna take this out uh, right here I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take a nice One, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna swish it, okay? Make sure it cover everywhere. Now, this is a trick. When you pour them out, you see I'm hugging this. So I wanna make sure I coat it inside all the way around. So I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna rotate it from my left hand to my right hand. You see? Now, you glaze inside, all over. You don't even need to reglaze it. Okay, one more time. Put the pitcher in there, swish it a little bit, you're hugging it from the left to the right. If you want it from right to the left, that's your business. Anything you want, just left to the right. Then you get the four rotations, yes? Okay, once I got that, 
Now I'm gonna glaze it up. Since I waxed here already, so I'm not worried about it, okay? I'm not worried about it. I think I need to kind of bring it just a little bit right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glaze the pot, okay? So how am I glazing? I'm gonna put down, you see my hand right here? Usually st people start to glazing like this, students start to glazing, and it's like, wait, I have to change the rotation. So they have to like come back here and glaze like that and end up you have double, you have a double the layer of a glaze, triple the layer, quadruple the glaze, and then just add more glaze, just layer all over. I just want one single coat. So how do you do this? Trick right here. In front of you right here, this is, I'm a righty, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna over rotating, start from the back. Can you see it right here? I'm gonna over rotating right here. I'm gonna pull the glaze from here. Can you see that? All the way around, boom, I make a whole circle. Got that? Watch, one more time. I'm gonna pour the glaze from here. I'm gonna over rotate my hand right here. I'm gonna pour the glaze and come back this way. Yes? Okay. Let's get a nice bucket right here. Grab hole. Ready? Gonna push it down. And one shot. See that? Make it look like a professional. Okay, and now I'm gonna let them dry just a little bit. That's a one coat. Maybe if I say, you know what, it'd be a little thin. I wanna do it not again, I want another coat. Oh, knock yourself out one more time. Boom. Right here. I'm gonna hold it again, let them dry a little bit. Gonna bring it up. See where that? I'm gonna let them dry. You see all the bees right there? I'm gonna wipe it off right now. But I need to clean my mess. While I'm cleaning my mess, I'm letting them dry, okay? I'm gonna wipe it down. Make sure you guys all do the cleaning job at the studio, okay? Okay. So right, cleaning, cleaning. Any any mess that you make, please, please, please. Clean after yourself. Okay, now I notice the glaze actually dry off just a little bit. I'm gonna rinse the pot. I mean, I'm gonna, not gonna rinse, but I'm gonna rinse my sponge. And I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna bring it to you. See right here? I'm gonna gently wipe them. All the beads, I'm gonna wipe them right now. So what do you do with the wax? Wax the bend all 400, 500 Fahrenheit. Now, after this is done, even this hair, gross hair right here, it's gonna burn off. Okay, so now this whole thing, the wax will burn off. I'm gonna show my clay body, which is a dark brown like this, right? And contract with my blue, bluish tone uh, colors of a glaze right here. And we are done. No, we're not. We need to clean the bottom. How do you clean the bottom? Again, one more time. Put a little water right here. Put a little, I'll wipe it at the bottom. You can wipe it at the bottom. Like that. Just wipe it. Okay, if you're having a hard time to wipe it, soak in the water just a little bit. Doom, done. Here is how you glaze a vase.